situations are irrelevant now. She loves the way that I tease. I love the way that she breathes. Hey, what's up, guys? Xbox Shadow Fox here. Today, I'm doing some uh, Dungeon Siege 3. Thought I'd throw up some gameplay footage. I've been playing it for almost the past week or so. Doing it on hardcore mode. Um, it's not that hard. It gets a little bit tricky in some sections, but once you get rolling and you get all your skills up, um, it hasn't been too hard. Maybe that's down to the fact that I'm using a long range character. I think that's definitely helping. Um, but yeah, it's a cool game. If you were a big fan of like Baldur's Gate and games like that, I recommend giving this game a try. Um, it's pretty fun, pretty massive game. I've been about seven and a half hours through the game, and I reckon I'm probably maybe done about two thirds of it so far. Um, so I thought I'd just show up a little bit of footage of this uh, section I was doing here. Not all the sections are underground. There, you know, there's definitely outside areas through forests and swamps and all that kind of stuff. Um, you have two different stances, um, which can switch between two different weapons. So this chick here has a rifle for long range and like a a sawn off and pistol in each hand for close up and when you switch stances the skill will switch as well so uh, here got the three skills up uh, the main one I use with this is like the X button it's like a big a big shot takes a fair amount of damage off um, so down the bottom there you got your greens your health the blue is what they call focus which is basically your mana and those two little purple orbs um, some of the skills don't use the focus they actually use those orbs and um, you get them back by just killing people, doing damage. So what I'm doing here with this chick, basically I use one of my skills. Um, I hold, uh, when you block as well, it brings up another three skills. So there's actually nine different skills you uh, each character has, which is which is really good because since most games only have usually the three. Um, so I've switched there to my sawn off with my pistol. As you can see, the, the skills have changed. I've cursed that guy with the X button. Before I used the B was the uh, that the dog that you can see there. That's my dog that I've brought out. So it's really cool. It's got a lot of variety to it. And doing on the hardcore, um, there's definitely you know you definitely have to use some skill and you definitely have to balance your character out with your items and all that kind of stuff to kind of um, yeah make a solid character to get through. I got my crit start up pretty high. That's where you see a lot of uh, crit hits there, and also um, a lot of some of my skills, like like that one there. I just cursed him. Um, actually, every time I hit him, does more damage, um, and it's a lot of stuff. Sorry, that this chick has um, does more crit damage, so which is cool. Um, this guy here, he's not even like a boss or anything like that. Um, you can see he's taking a fair whop to knock him out. Um, but it's all about blocking. Um, when you block in this game, um, when you cop, if you like the damage, if you, instead of getting damaged to your health, it takes off your focus. And the higher your block stat, the less focus it takes off you. Um, obviously, so you can't block all day. So if you block, it takes focus off. And when the focus is low, it just goes straight through your block and damages you. But I found um, the best tactic really is just rolling. See that goblin? He just went freaking flying. That was awesome. I just did my massive shot right in his face. Um, so yeah, uh, well I can't even remember what I was saying now. I'm getting a bit excited after that goblin went freaking flying 50 meters through the air. Um, that guy with me there is my, oh, all that blue stuff is me getting my health back. I just used, um, my B skill which was like a machine gun fire. Plus I got this thing on which get, does more damage and I've boosted it up as well. Um, when you level up you can boost up each of your skills. They have two different paths you can kind of take. Um, so I boosted up the skill when it, when uh, I do more damage to him but not only that when every time I damage him I get health back from it so I was machine gunning him with my I got like my B button is like a rapid fire shot and so I was just rapid firing him getting tons of health back um yeah so I was saying diving and right diving around all over the place is really the best tactic um you can't be damaged while you like mid roll even if they hit you uh, things hit you or whatever um it won't damage you while you're rolling so once I figure that out, I just roll around, get some distance, and uh, just keep smashing them. So this is the uh, item screen. Um, it's pretty simple to find all your shit because if you ever pick anything up, you just go in there. There's a quick shortcut button. You just hit the right D-pad, go straight to the equip screen, 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 um, and fucking 
yeah, um, it says new on any items that are new, so it's easy to find. Plus, when you pick them up, it has a, a fa like a picture of the guy, the character it's associated with. So um, that's cool as well. So you know it's not nothing to do with you or whatever. That's uh, that makes it easier. Um, you also you uh, look after your AI companions level as well. Like you both level at the same time, so you choose their path, their skills, and all that jazz, um, which is cool. Um, yep, that's definitely fire Xbox. <laughs> um, I don't know what else to say about this game. It's cool, big. I've been trying to do all the um, secondary quests throughout the game as well. Um, there's a, like a hundred point achievement for completing all secondary quests and playing it on hardcore. I definitely recommend doing that anyway because it just gets you level up um, you know, a lot more, which you know definitely comes in handy. Um, I haven't really had any p main problems in this game yet where I've just been absolutely stuck or anything like that, which has been quite good even on the hardest mode. So, and I'm not a, you know, I'm not exactly the best at this these kind of games. So that's saying something. You know, it's all just about your tactics, really. Um, the AI dude, he's using that thing on the ground. He's they're kind of, I'm a bit iffy with them, sometimes they use, you know, good skills, sometimes they just stand there and do nothing, and pretty much, they're just a punching bag, really. Um, chests around, also, we, um, the rarity of the items is are in colours, so white is like the basic, then it goes green, blue, and then like, yellow or gold is like the highest, well the highest I've found so far anyway. So that's kind of good when you're picking shit up and you can say, oh, alright, that's white, don't have to go check that if it's any good or whatever. No, but I do like to go in there, check every now and then, just to see what I've got. Um, you can hit up on the D-pad, which brings up, they call them breadcrumbs. Those little yellow dots, so it shows you where you're going uh, for your next quest. Um, so, mad bombers come up here. This still isn't, like, a boss battle or anything like that. This is just, uh, I call them just, like, a superior enemy, really. Or an enemy leader. Um, you know, they have a massive health meter, you gotta try and knock them down, they're a bit tougher. The kill, um, their, you know, their attacks are a bit different, but it is by no means a boss battle. Um, I've actually had the proper boss battles in this game, and they're pretty epic, pretty hard on hardcore, um, until you learn out the, uh, learn their pattern. Once you learn the pattern, then, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's just a matter of execution, really. Um, so, you can see here, just using the dive, staying at a distance, just using that kind of tactics and that's how I rolled pretty much most of the game um, as you meet different companions throughout the game as well and um, you can kind of switch them to which one you want to use this moment I was using um, this other guy um, companion dude, he's like a magic type dude, he was kind of weak but I was using him to get an achievement um, um, the other guy I'm, I'm kind of mainly sticking with was like a melee guy so then he'd, get, he'd go in and do the melee kind of stuff and I'd just stick back and damage from a distance so yeah so this is pretty much it big criticals just maximizing your um, your skills just using them in the right order kind of do as much damage as you possibly can but basically so yeah overall I do recommend this game it is pretty cool it's massive check it out